In this video a circuit from a car battery charger, but not only a car battery, for instance this heavy one from 50 ampere hour, but also small batteries like this battery. Maintenance free rechargeable battery, all 12 volt by the way. This is the demo circuit and there is quite a lot to tell about that circuit. At the moment I'm charging with a 2 ampere current and 15.6 volt at the power supply this 12 volt battery. This is the schematic. I hope it's visible from this distance. In fact it's very simple. It's an electronic switch from which the switch off voltage is set by Zener diodes here and normal silicon diodes in the row. You can adapt the switching off voltage by adding um, normal silicon diodes in the row because they all have a barrier voltage from approximately 0.7 volts and they add to the Zener voltage. At the moment these this whole constellation makes that the circuit switches off at 14.6 volt. Two of the diodes here or one of them compensate the voltage drop here in this diode. And at the moment it's charging you can fine tune the switch off voltage with this potentiometer as a value from 1k and um, when the end voltage is reached the relay switches off. At the moment it's in the charging position and that means that we have here a power supply, um, a small power power supply from say a few hundred milliampere for instance for such a battery or a real powerful power supply like this one for such a battery. That doesn't matter. Yes, it switched off. Okay. Um, um, here's the power supply. Here is the rectifier circuit, bridge rectifier with a good capacitor from say 4700 a microfarad. And at the moment current is flowing here through that diode into the car battery and back and um, that means that the car battery is charged up to the moment that the maximum voltage is reached and the relay switches the current off. Very simple circuit and very easy to make. It's important that the switch where you, with which you start the process must be in the primary from the transformer. When it's in the secondary here, it could be that the voltage is so high that the switch, the electronic switch, doesn't want to start. So it's very important the, the switch with which the whole process is started must be here. And furthermore there's not so much to tell. 12 volt relay, resistor here to protect the end transistor, the pin connections and perhaps a small pan over the circuit. The LED that indicates that the thing is charging. So I um, want to start the process again. Now the power supply is 23 volts, that's far too high, so I have to drop the voltage completely down to start the, the voltage switch. I raise the voltage somewhat and now the start, sorry, the charge process starts. Two, uh, two ampere approximately and it switches off and because it was already 
properly charged. Anyway, a new back to a smaller current, one ampere. It's charging. The battery voltage, car battery voltage is 13.6 volts. <coughs> and it must switch off on a certain moment. 14.61. It has to start switch off there. Well, this is 14.3, but um, all these things are processes that you have to um, study uh, slowly. Take your time to get a good indication from the switch off voltage. That's very important. Don't get in a hurry with these kinds of circuits. Um, lead acid batteries are strange things that can act slow or delayed or whatever. So you need some time to um, set your switch off voltage.